Hi, Stefano. How are Hi, you? Hi, how are you? Great. How are you, Marlena? Ciao. Ciao. Good so good to see you. <laughs> I was Great. saying that you are some Italian and some American because you are not completely Italian, even if your name Stefano Secchi is completely Italian. Thank but you, so you, are, you have some American uh, roots, right? Yeah, well, I was born here. My father was born in, in Italy, in Sardinia, and all my family still lives there. So, okay. yeah, I, half the time here, half the time there. It's, how do you go wrong with that, right? <laughs> yeah, and uh, um, you have an amazing restaurant in New York City. Tw uh, can you tell the address, please? Res Dora. We're at 27 East 20th Street on 20th Street between Park and Broadway. Okay, if the name Rezzora sounds a little bit strange because it's a strange name actually, but what does it mean Rezzora in Italiano? Italiano it means the, almost the head of the household, which usually, okay, normalmente, usually is a nonna that, that tiras la sfoglia or, or rolls out um, pasta al mattarello. Um, yeah. Is our, you know, the lady that does the pasta, this is the Rezzora and um, your restaurant is really, really amazing. And I know now it's, I mean, it's a hard time because we know why. And it's, I mean, it's very difficult for everyone. Uh, first of all, because a lot of people is suffering and uh, business wise for the people who has own a restaurant for you, in your case, I mean, it's very hard because, but you're doing delivery, right? Home delivery. We are, yeah, yeah. We are. And how is going? Yeah, it's good. I mean, New York is, there's so many people and I don't know how long you can stay in your apartment. So it's, it's funny. We get a lot of calls and a lot of emails often for people that want to have a beautiful dinner at home. So, um, it, we've been, we've been pretty busy. I, I, for us, it's just to keep our, our employees employed, you know, um, yeah, obviously. Sure. Um, and then, yeah, we do, we do videos with our customers sometimes to tell them how to cook the pasta. We do fresh pasta to go as well, which has been beautiful. I, I can't wait to be back open though. I miss, I miss yeah. uh, everyone here. Yeah, I understand. But you know, we, uh, it's complete. And we have to say that the food delivery is very safe. I mean, you no, I want to say that because sometimes clients are really scared about how can it be safe food delivered to your home. Actually, it's very safe. And they're very, very, Stefan is very strict with all the rules that you have to respect for, you know, prepare the ingredients and cook them and uh, put in the package. So, um, people who is lucky enough to close to your restaurant uh, can can taste your pasta. But in the meantime, for the others that can't have your food delivery, or uh, can you know, what can we do as a um, for a good pasta? Because this program is called the Butta la Pasta. Okay. What does it mean in Italiano? Sp explain it to an American what really means in our culture to say Butta la Pasta. So well, that's a great question because my nonna, my nonna, I used to be, I used to have to cook the pasta with her. She said, Stefano, put la pasta per favore. She, she, um, it just means drop the pasta in the boiling water. So drop the pasta, pronounce or start cooking. Um, it's a great yeah. question, Marlene, because I was, I was off yesterday with my family and we, and yeah, we, like you said, we, we keep the utmost standards for sanitation here all the time. Um, and it's very safe for delivery, but in, in the meantime, if, uh, when, when you're at home, uh, we use whatever is in our, our pantry um, to make beautiful pasta, yo, yo, peperoncino, like garlic, olive oil, and, and, and peperoncino, really, really simple. But also, you, if you have anchovies, anchovies and butter is an amazing combination from Piemonte and from Veneto that um, I used to eat all the time for family, but very, very simple, um, especially... What we do, at, uh, especially at, at, at our house, is we go to the market and then we buy herbs for, for two weeks and we just keep them in the freezer. Um, okay. So what, good, what good point. So with like with like basilico or, or with parsley and walnuts um, or una pesto proprio de Liguria, um, and you just blend that up for one day and freeze and you have it for you know for two weeks, three weeks, depending on how long it lasts. In my house today. Somebody <laughs> says that you are the beautiful voice. Yes, and it's very good looking man too, actually. No, no, no. No, <laughs> no but it's true that put the, the herbs in the free in the freezer is a very great idea because you keep them fresh and ready to be to and even it's even better when you do the the sauce because the fr the cold is really helped to create more sure. creamy, you no? Know? So what can sure. we do with these herbs in the freezer? So with it, so another a, a really an amazing thing that we do at my house is if you're gonna make a pesto, for instance, you have we always have these ice cubes, you know these ice cube trays. We just put each we put the sauce inside of each ice cube tray, 
And then, and then when, you, when I come home late sometimes, I don't have time to do the restaurant, then I pop out three ice cube chase, a little bit of pasta water, and then and we put a la pasta, like you say, and then cook al dente, you know, nine, 10 minutes, so depending on spaghetti, rigatoni, um, whatever you decide. Okay. And, then, and then just have a, a, a sauce made for you right there. Um, a very traditional sauce that we have in Emilia Romagna is butter and sage, brown butter and sage, that is maybe my favorite of all time. Um, it's amazing, so yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. How, how can you get, because, you know, in Italy, I interviewed recently uh, Giancarlo Perbellini, that is hey. from Verona, and he does an amazing pasta al burro, butter pasta. And uh, it's so simple, but in simplicity, you have to find the right way to do it to get really good, you know? Sure. So what is your burro and salvia, your butter and sage? And sage? So, so my butter and sage is, um, you're exactly right. So we actually do something different at my house where we take all the parmigiano rinds and then we put them inside of uh, just like a small pot. And then we, we bring the butter up and let it slowly cook, uh, really, yes. really slow for like five, 10 minutes. And it yep. gets slightly brown, color de cafe. And then you have the profumo de parmigiano from all the parmigiano rinds. I mean, it, it, I have to tell you the truth. It's something absolutamente buenísimo. It's just so simple, but you get the parmigiano in the background. Yeah. Uh, and then we, we take like, you know, we have either we have buffalo mozzarella or regular home milk mozzarella. And, and then we just, we can make a tortelloni with like that or with ricotta and, and plenty of nutmeg, noche moscato. I mean, for me, the but most- for, No, but for example, butter and sage, you said before, you just put butter in the, in the some boiled cooking yeah. water. I mean, you, you put the pasta with butter and some cooking water and some sage, or there is some tricks that we can, you know, we can use. That's a great question. So we, we um, so I just bring the butter up to, to low to medium heat or on, in a saute pan and then yeah. and put to the pasta. And then, but I like to bring up the butter very nice and slow. And then when we take the color of the cafe, like maybe the, the color of like your cappuccino or espresso in the morning. Yeah. Um, then they add the sage and then a little bit of pasta water to help emulsify. Um, okay. And then, and to be honest with you, I don't, you just need a little bit of parmigiano grattugiato on top. And I don't know how you can ever go wrong with that, right? I mean, no, so never get wrong if you put some parmigiano on top of the pasta, I agree. <laughs> but you know, and which is your, the most popular uh, thing that it, at the restaurant that the people really are crazy about in the Rezzora? It's a great question. I mean, I think the most, the most popular that we have is uh, we have little agnolini that come from Parma that traditionally we used to serve with, in brodo di pollo or brodo di capone, um, mm -hmm. very simple in, in broth. But in broth, we yeah. Have, we actually do ours with, um, with a little bit of cream, nutmeg, and then 24-month parmigiano reggiano, um, about a one-to-one -one ratio, and then we just send it with a blender. So if you're at home, you bring, some, uh, bring up like one cup of, of heavy cream, a little bit of nutmeg, and some sea salt. And then great, um, one cup of parmigiano, um, bring it up to low heat. And then as soon as it's kind of melted, bring one of those immersion blenders and then just blend it. Or if you have a bullet at home, that works well as well. And then we just do that with, uh, with a very traditional stuffing that you do with. Last time is coming, yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know, guys, that Stefano got the visit from the New York Times in August, right? Absolutely, yeah. And that so you get a great page on, about your restaurant. Who was it? I mean. We were lucky, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, you weren't lucky, come on. Your <laughs> restaurant is great. You know, to find a table in New York when, uh, and it's not very expensive, we have to say. I mean, it's okay. It's not, it's affordable that because sometimes, you know, restaurant in New York can be very, very expensive. But it's true that after that article, it's very, very difficult even more to, to, to find a table with you, with you. I, I, it's very, but somebody asked, um, you work with uh, Massimo Bottura. Yeah, I work with, uh, with Massimo. I work with uh, Laura Morandi in Modena. I work with um, David Palude in, in Piemonte. Um, so Massimo is amazing, right? I mean, he's definitely a, a mentor. And, and Laura, Alexa, Charlie, he's, if you guys have the chance, you have to watch the quarantine videos he's doing because I've been cracking up. I mean, he's just, they're just so great. You know, we did a video together for La Cucina Italiana in Italy. And... Uh, it was so funny and so nice and so and you know he has a lot of genuine heart for everyone because in Italy I have to say that it was it's pretty hard I mean I don't and I, I think it's very hard in the United States as well too right now so we completely are embracing your you know we understand completely what you're feigning right, right. now so but um, 
you know, we try to do this kind of entertainment also to, to keep people a little bit, you know, make, make you guys home smiling and try to cook something good. So, okay, can I ask you last uh, pasta, the, if you are going to, what are you going to prepare for lunch To You have this, an amazing little baby. How is he? Luca is fantastic. I mean, he keeps me up at night, but how do you, how can you go wrong? I mean, he's walking now. <laughs> Madalena, he's walking, so that's a big problem. So we're trying to figure out. Yeah, <laughs> and, and he's a big boy. I remember he's a big because you're a tall guy and your wife too. So you're he's a big boy, right? He's a little chichone, yeah. So we need to. <laughs> he's, been, he's, been eating, he's been eating like crazy. <laughs> but yeah. if you, I mean, now you're working, but if you go home and you are going to prepare food for your family, what are you going to prepare? You know what he goes crazy for? Um, because all my family um, is in Sardinia right now. I have, I have an aunt and uncle in Milano right now, but we did a cooking lesson three days ago. We made spaghetti pomodoro. That, and for him, his favorite is linguine vongole. So we just do very, very simple linguine vongole with aglio, olio, and bro de prezzemolo. And then just baby lucchini cleanse, you know, and a little bit of white wine which my wife drinks um, on the side so it's, yeah. and he couldn't be happier but you know this recipe is very simple but and it's very fast because the fact the good thing of our food that you fr there's someone from Sardinia hi Klaus uh, the fact that our food is very fast to cook right. it's very express so uh, the best would be put oil and olive oil and garlic in, yep. the, in the pan and then, no color, exactly. No color. No butter, no. And then, and then? And then we, we uh, add the parsley as well. And then um, I usually put parsley in two steps. I put parsley in the beginning to have like, the cooked parsley flavor with the oil. Um, yes. I put the pasta like you talked about, uh, the linguine. And then I add the white wine. Um, I cover the pan and then let the clam uh -oh, open. Something. As soon as the clam open, take it off, take it off the heat, though. Uh, because you don't want to overcook the clams, and you can you can do that no problem, and because then they become chewy. But you want them to kind of melt in the mouth. And what about uh, how much garlic is okay? As they're asking. Uh, so I asked. I asked I, it's a great question. I asked. I asked my. I asked Luca, and Luca's like, I mean, he doesn't talk yet, but he's more for him the better. But for if you're gonna do, let's say, let's say, twenty clams, then I I put one one whole garlic, you know, about a size like this. Um, but if you have if you have forty clams and maybe two cloves, but we don't we don't mind too much the garlic because the best part is 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 when you cook it slow, just make sure there's no color on it um, when when you're okay. eating it up with oil. That's no color easy. because if the, the garlic get colored, it means that it's very strong the taste afterwards. Yeah. So it can ruin also the taste of the clams and maybe no. Exactly. I'm, yeah. I'm more you know I'm more someone that eat instead of cooking so. I think, <laughs> as you know, so you put the, the parcel at the beginning and then you put really at the end when it's very fresh for exactly. giving some freshness, right? Exactly right. So I take the pasta out 30 seconds before it's finished um, al dente. And then, of course, the pasta water season like al mare, just like in the ocean, right? And yeah. then once I, I finish cooking the linguine or, or, spaghetti, or spaghetti inside of, inside of the, the sauce for an additional 30 seconds to finish. And then to mantecare, to, to finish off, um, I add the fresh parsley and then extra virgin olive oil to stream in. And then just a little bit of lemon juice um, because the acidity to me is importantissimo. They're asking if you use, you can use also canned clams or fresh only. Uh, Maybe I, better fresh. Yeah, no, yeah. What do you think, Stefan? Yeah, yeah. I, I would say you have to do fresh. If you don't, if... If you if you don't if you don't have fresh then use then make anchovy with with beautiful butter because then you're gonna be ju just as happy um, as well. But can I can I tell you the anchovies and butter at our house it's really classic, and my <laughs> husband that is the chef in the in the in our family not me, is putting also some um, the lemon skin and it's amazing. Oh. It's just a touch, you know, it's very good. That's a great idea. Okay, so that's that's going to be the next trick that we do. Yeah, you. but yeah, we can't compete with you. I mean, no. <laughs> anyway, Stefano, thank you so much for being with us. Yeah, uh, and uh, we really hope to, you know, to see each other soon, uh, physically and not virtually. Yes. And uh, take good care of you guys, everyone there who are listening to us and watching us. And buttiamo uh, la pasta soon, I hope. Subito. And I, we want to we want to wish everyone safety and then and I hope everything goes much better in Italia, much like in the States. Can't wait to see Thank a resort. You.
Yeah, we see you at Perezzora and we see you on La Cucina Italiana. Ciao Stefano, thank you. Grazie, grazie ciao. di tutto. Ciao, ciao. ciao. Another great chef based in New York this time, but we're going to have also a chef from the West Coast and from all over around the United States. Thank you, thank you so much for being with us. Uh, you know, I think that this piece of advice really make us uh, better chef and uh, make us a little bit, you know, distraction from what we are living. So we are going to see tomorrow. Um, we can have a, a very, very important chef again originally Italian, but very, very American as well. I keep the, the surprise, but you're going to see um, stories and announcement very, very soon, like in about an hour today. So take care, have a good day, you in New York and the East Coast, all over America, and also to the West Coast. Big kiss from La Cucina Italiana, from me, Maddalena, ciao.